Welcome hoarders, today you're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. Um, today we're doing, I believe it's the GRB challenge, or it might be the, it's something with GRB, what was it? Uh, GRB Rallycross. Um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we only have five races, most of them are seven laps. Um, but none of the tracks are extremely big. I already have my car picked out. Uh, I'm going to be going with the Audi Quattro um, for the car I choose for this. The Lancer is probably, as far as the ones I've actually used quite often, I would say the Lancer is one of the best ones to use for this, but I like the uh, Quattro the most of what I've been using. Um, got people liking my uh, my thumbnail pictures again. Uh, I did mess around with this car quite a bit. Actually, I might have to go back into the settings and set it up the way I had it when I was uh, driving around with it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty fast rally car, which is an issue. On here um, I had it on two I'm gonna move it to one obviously you have to have dirt tires I want the brakes uh, heavier in the back um, what was the other thing I did I did add more um, downforce to it um, and I believe I had this one click in uh, so that's the 8515 ratio so most of the power is going to be to the rear but that makes it a little easier to slip around in my opinion uh, I'm probably going to have to do the hood view with this purely due to the fact that I don't know how well I'm going to do on here I don't know a lot of the tracks uh, a lot of the like off-road tracks um I'm going to just do whatever I can do. See ya. Like, once this starts going, it goes. Um, which can be scary and awesome at the same time. Which, I think that's probably one of the reasons I picked this. I don't really think, though... I wasn't looking at the actual specs and stuff of vehicles. I was going off the ones that I knew had a really good history um, behind them. Like, everyone knows the Sport Quattro is one of the greatest cars. I would have liked to use a, uh, a Lancia Delta or a Stratus. Um, Stratos, not a Stratus. A Stratus is a Dodge. Um, I just wanted that purely because, like, I would have, if I could have used the Lancia Delta, or any Lancia really at all, I would have gone with that, um, that or an older Subaru, but they didn't have any options for any older Subaru, so I went with this. Okay, this track is doing quite decent for me. I think when there's other cars around, I can gauge how quickly I should be going a lot better because I did test this out a bit um, before I went to the track because I was having issues with this car, um, mostly due to its massive amounts of speed that you can get on the dirt. So if you go into a corner too much, you're just... I want to get third person here for a little bit. See how well I can do with it. But most of this, these races are just drifting. For the most part. See ya, suckers. What's that, a Subaru BRZ? Or is that the Toyota? Yeet. 
I hit a fence. Oh, no, I didn't. Love the sound of this, too. We're catching up decently good here, but... Ugh! Is that a Honda NSX? I didn't know they even had a race version of that. Like a, a rally version of that car. Okay, we're gonna zip on through. We're decently far behind yet. Hopefully this turns out where it's a tiny bit of a challenge to get up to first. Um, which it's looking like because we're on our third out of seven laps. Um, and we're only in fifth place. Normally on the second lap, I'm in, like, third. At least. Ugh. This thing is a monster, though. And I'm glad I'm on a track that I relatively know um, for the starting track so I can get more used to um, the feel of the upcoming tracks. Okay, this is going to be... Okay, we were 17 seconds behind last time, so we we got 7 seconds ahead of where we were in one lap. So, I think by the next two laps, we should be in first. With a little bit of luck, and hopefully good driving. I mean, I'm only 9 seconds away right now. But who knows? I could wreck. That's a high possibility um, when doing these types of races. The weird thing is, you guys who have watched the series previous to this, like the episodes previous to this, know that I should have fucked up by now. Like, badly. I'm doing better on this track than I've done on most of the regular paved tracks. Maybe I'm good at drifting and I don't know it. Could be possible. Okay. I'm gonna zip through here. What is that? Is that a Mustang? Yeah, it is. I'm not a huge fan of the Mustang. That was one of the more odd ones to drive, I think. Oh, okay, I fucked up. Come on. Okay, the last two are up here. Getting a little worried. Just a little. I might have my work cut out for me. Is that a rental or a Ford Focus? I think it's a Ford Focus. Yeah, it's definitely a Ford Focus. When I hit the back of it, I could really see that Ford badge. Okay. Ooh, okay, we have not a whole lot of time. Especially with that asshole hitting the back of me like that. Not a whole lot of time to get up to first. Basically, you got a lap of a lap and a half. 
um, to get to first, which we're pretty close to them. Realistically, we're, we're quite close to them. We're only a second and a half behind, two seconds now. Oh, go figure. The guy in first is driving the same car as me. That's why he's doing good. Because we picked the best car. Fuck off. Suck it. Okay, now what I gotta do is not get cocky. Oh my god. He's right there. losing them. I don't want to get cocky. I'm not going to get cocky. I'm going to drive smart and fast. Oh! You might notice I'm going to be looking behind me quite often. So far, a pretty good setup on this car, I must say. Um, I messed around with it a little earlier. It was probably because I was on a track that I didn't really know. But now, it's handling like a champ. It's probably all the downforce I added on to it, honestly. Like, I gave it massive amounts of downforce. Uh, not all the way up, but pretty high up there. Okay, on to the second race. Okay, this one's not actually on the dirt, which is kind of nice to know. So this will be interesting. Glad we have the downforce we have. I was going to do it in third, but third has two difficult of a uh, perspective to really or yeah first there's like a a banner above the uh, windshield that makes you like not be able to see anything I hate it wonder if you can get it taken off I can see that the other guys handling just like me Clearly, our cars aren't as stable as some of these other ones. I do, however, have more downforce. I would have to assume I have more downforce than these guys. I'm not liking the look of the progress so far. One lap and I only passed like two cars. Ugh. Come on. Slip sliding away. Oh. 
Hey, if I can pass them, I'm gonna pass them. You know? Oh, someone went way off. Okay, we only have three to pass. They're decently far ahead, too. But at least now on the straight stretches and most... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. On most of the straight stretches and pretty much the whole rest of the track... I don't have to worry about people getting in my way, so I should be able to catch up um, quickly to this group of people. Which I am. It's not going to help if I'm drifting all the time, but I'm going to do as much as this car will let me. Push it to the limit. The limit! Looking back, do no mistakes. I don't know if that's the actual lyrics. Do, 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 do. Now, normally with a good car, you can floor it all the way around this turn. But, I'm a little skeptical of if this can do it or not. What's up to there? Oh, why are you at 37? No. Okay. Oh. Okay. We want almost all of it in the rear. That could be taken out of context. I just realized that. We want all the horsepower going to the back wheels, not the front. I mean, of course there's going to be 10% of it to the front. You can't really change that. Come on. I need to start passing these guys. Which I think we're going to right about... This straight stretch or the next one. Oh, I thought we were going to lose it there for a second. Come on, give me the draft. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. doing decent you can tell like when I've been playing this game more often because then I drive decently good like this week I've been driving like the past three or four days I've been playing this game but like last week's episode and like the week before that and a week before that I've only been playing when I recorded and that was it um, and you can really tell the difference like once I get set in like once I get back into the way this game handles then I do so much better but when I'm going back and forth between this uh, GTA 5 Call of Duty remastered like all of that stuff like I'm playing five different games every week and it, it doesn't make it easy on racing games especially Okay, I slowed down a lot there. I realize that. That was on somewhat purpose. Because I was I didn't want to wreck. I'd rather slow down and not wreck than wreck. Oh. Don't keep going.
They're right there. Don't do this to me. Damn it. I have no one to be mad at but myself. I'll pass them again on this one, but next lap I'm going to have to not mess up at all. No, you bitch. Come on, we need this draft right now. Okay, got to keep our cool. Don't even bother looking behind you. When you look behind you, you fuck up. I know that. I guess hearing them doesn't help. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I went in the dirt a little, let off the gas, slowly went back on. That's how you do it without wrecking. Oh, no, no, stay, bad. Yeah, we're pulling away. There we go. I feel bad for whoever was in last. They were really far behind. See that that is the type of race I like right there. The ones where you're you're worrying basically the entire length of the race. You have stuff to actually keep you going faster, if that makes sense. Um on to the third race now. Okay, we have another paved uh race, which I find to be odd. Um, especially considering we are in cars made for dirt. Um, but I am aware that there's not a ton of... Oh, no. There's not a ton of tracks in this game that are based towards dirt races. And once I have enough room, I'm going to switch this over to... Um, correct settings... I don't, I don't know why it keeps changing it. Because I had that all switched in the main settings. And I keep hitting stuff. Wow, I'm doing so bad on here. Sixteen seconds away... Fifteen seconds away from first... This is not going to be easy. Move, you bitch. I think I killed him. You can hear my tires just... They don't know what's going on. I do love the turbo sound in this. Well, it's technically not the turbo sound. It's the uh, the blow-off valve. Oh, 
All I've really got... Come on. It's like the hitbox for this car is so weird. Like the... How close you are to stuff. Like you hit stuff when you're not that close. I'll continue hitting them. I don't care. Oh my god, I'm not even touching you. That's such a strange sound right there. And the handling's not helping. Okay, we're in sixth on our second lap. I'm heading on to our third. Oh no, we should start breaking way earlier than that. Hey, at least this one big chunk of cars. It'll make it easier, so I should be able to sling pat, like, slingshot all of them. Most of these are GTRs, which I do say I expect them to be up in the front like this. At least until I hit them and kill them. Or until they hit me and kill me. Race 30. There's only two left to pass. We're more than halfway done with the race now. Should have braked earlier again. I'm also, me and the other guy with the Quattro are the only two that, uh, the, like the oldest two cars even in this series. Probably the most expensive cars too. If I had to put money on it. I think this was like 400k. 450 actually. I think. I don't remember. Break. Now that I'm at first, I'll probably pay more attention to actually when I have to break. Because usually I judge the cars in front of me. But also at the same time, it's usually the other way around. But that's like the second time I've made that turn. Like correctly. Shouldn't say correctly, because we're not supposed to be drifting. But that's how I'm doing it, because that's how I can do it. I know for a fact today we're not going to get a uh, a daily reward car because I already got it. Someone's behind me. Yep. 
Not only was he behind me, behind me, he was right behind me. In a way, that's cool to drive over those, but at the same time, it's not. Because it kind of throws your steering off a tiny bit. Made the turn again. Six. Da 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 da. Hit me again right there. He enjoys doing that. Wow, he's right there. Long, as long as he doesn't make me wreck. That's the only thing I care about. As long as I don't wreck. It's really bad. Just keeping an eye on him. Is it the... I think it might be the turn up here. Where he usually hits me. I don't... I don't know. No, maybe not. this one. Oh yeah, we won. We definitely won. Yee hee. Yee yee. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I literally never say that. Okay, on to race four. Yet another pavement race. The last one's gotta be off-road. Probably like the fisherman one. That's so dumb. Like, honestly, the dirt ones are easier for me than these ones. Because I didn't set the suspension up to drive on roads like this, I set it up for driving on dirt. Actually, I didn't touch it at all. And I imagine it's more set up for dirt, you know, since it's a car made for driving in dirt. I don't know why I'm yelling. Break. Decently steep hill. How out of my way? See, right here, this would probably be the race that a Mustang would be great at. 
just like all that rear wheel drive power that you can get but yet again if it's the rally version of the Mustang it's probably still the same setup as I have on here this is only a six lapper though I probably should have started braking like an hour ago huh nope we're good until I get no steering at all. You can only steer this car when your foot is off the gas. And the brake. You know, I probably have to change the settings again, huh? Because it's like this every single time. That was kind of cool. Kind of a cool sound. Now I do realize that, uh, like, full four-wheel drive will get you accelerating faster, but you also steer much worse. I'm going right in the dirt. Okay, just a little. Pretty much just three tires. That's all. I would rather be able to go fast around a turn and fast in the straight instead of only fast in the straights. So that's why I'm doing 10% uh, in the front, 90% in the back. Thank you for being my break. I was like, did I kill him? Okay, we're halfway through the race. I think we're about to hit lap four after this next big loop. So I think I should be able to catch up to these guys and get into first without too much trouble. fourth right now. I'm gonna pass him. And I might be able to pass this guy on this turn. Probably not. Thanks for hitting the back of my car, you douchebag. They're jealous because I can power slide better. Okay, we should be good now. I hope. I can see why you'd use cars like this on this track. It has a lot of steep uphill and steep downhill portions. But it is also paved. So you could use like any car for this. good. We have, uh, we have to finish lap five. Well, we're on four. We have to do five, and then we got one more after that.
That was a bit quick through there, but it was a very good final result. So I don't think it's too big of an issue. That. that was not easy to slow down there. Still good. I had a problem with that turn last time also. Okay, we're heading up here onto our last lap on our shortest race. I shouldn't say shortest race, our race with the least laps. This might, this feels like a much longer race, but it could also be because I got into first earlier than I did the previous races. So that might have something to do with it. I really don't know. We will have to see. Still good. No one behind us. Probably shouldn't be going third person right now. There's someone right there. Okay, here's that one turn. And now our final straight. No way I'm losing now. I like the Bosch headlights too. Okay, so we already run, f yeah, run. We already won four out of the five. So now let's head on to the last track, which hopefully is a dirt track. Okay, this one is a dirt track. Thank God. Uh, I'm gonna have to do hood view again. I don't like doing hood view, but I have to, to be good. You know, like that, how I hit that wall there, that's that's how you drive good. Okay, this is the Colorado Springs one, I believe, is what it said. Colorado something. Okay, I know this one. I've raced on this one actually a lot. Um, let me check all this stuff again. Yeah, it keeps doing that. Why does it keep doing that? They can't just leave everything alone. They've got to fuck with it every single race. Also... My uh, traction control should be one, not two. And that should be a one. Yeah, I had to do uh, challenges on this track and I've learned quite a bit about it, but I haven't driven on it in a long time since then. Uh, it's probably been, I don't know, has it? It couldn't have already been a year, right? 
I don't think I've been playing this game that long. Go, 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 and my hover around. Indoors, outdoors, all over town. Yeet. Break, break, break. To the right. Floor it. To the right. Let go of the gas. Hit the gas. Left. Hit the gas, even though it says to hit the brakes. Keep going back and forth. Not doing great. This was always the turn I had troubles with before. Can't be on lap three and only in 11th place. I don't think we're winning this one on our first try. I'm not talking much, that's because I'm concentrating. Well, way far on that one. Too fast. I changed my uh, my differentials and stuff, so I don't know. Maybe I'll accelerate better. I mean, I definitely am already. I can tell, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna win this race because I'm a tenth on the fourth out of seven laps. Who knows? Ooh. Him hitting that flung me a bit. No way. 
There's no way I'm catching up to the guy in first. You see how far away he is? Like, he's doing great. I'm 18 seconds behind with less than two laps. Basically. I don't know. I think I should, I'm going to just call it quits. There's no way. There's absolutely no way with the gap that they have ahead for me to be able to catch up to them. Okay, okay, I know something we could probably do. I'm gonna... I thought I changed that, but I guess I didn't. We're gonna do the fully customizable. And we're gonna have that... Yeah, have it as low of a top speed as you can possibly get. That way we can get more... Um, more traction. I'm gonna go with 45.55 on this. And I guess we're going to just try it again and see what we can do. Hey, by the end of lap two, this time I'm at seven. So, I don't know. I might be on to something here with the uh, transmission change and the differential being, uh, what was it, uh, 45.55. I see that coward. And it is the same vehicle as mine. Killing them. I'm gonna break every last bone in this guy's body. Okay, I'm in front of him. Now all I have to do is stay in front of him. guys. If I don't mess up here, I'm not going to mess up anywhere. Suck it, you piece of shit. Okay. Yeah, boy. Okay, that took three tries. Um, two three-quarter... Well two six sevenths tries <laughs> and then the final one where I actually won it that's cool that was an extremely difficult race actually um, you must you must 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 have your transmission set as low as possible with your gears as close as possible or you're not going to win it's that simple. You need your acceleration to be able to beat that guy. Um, I highly doubt that I got a daily reward card because I already did 
all of that earlier this morning. Um, who knows, maybe it'll give us another one. I doubt it. But we did get a milestone achievement. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see. I think I already got a car, um, set up for this, though. Um, for next week's episode. Yeah, the World Hatchback, uh, competition. I already have a vehicle ready for this. It is not the fastest nor the best that you can get here. I was gonna do the, uh, Mercedes A45 AMG right here. Um, but I ended up buying, where is it? Wait, it's not on the list. Um, why is it not on the list? Oh, it's right there. The, uh, the old, the 1998, uh, Honda Civic Type R. Um, I don't like the newer one, so I was like, I'm gonna go with the older one. I bought it, I fixed it up a little bit. Um, but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos, and don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.